Hi, this is Kat with Beta Halik, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use waxed cord to make a multi strand bracelet. So, this is the style that we are going to be doing here today. As you can see, we have all these beautiful, colorful strands in the middle there, and then I have a nice sliding knot clasp in the back, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that so we can make a nice adjustable bracelet. It can be nice and small, it can be nice and big, and I'll show you where we're going to need to do some size. So what I want to start with is by showing you this waxed Brazilian cord from the beadsmith and it's called Knot It. So I'm going to be using this colorway here so it's got some beautiful pinks and blues but we also do have some other great mixes and this is a great opportunity to utilize a mix because they are designed to go together. But we do also have some individual colors so let's say you wanted to do something that was you know really hot pink and really feeling that and then you wanted to add in a little pop of purple, you can absolutely do that. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in because I'm sure you're eager to find out what I have going on right here. So what I've done is I've taken each of the four colors that I have here and I have cut three strands of each color that is about five and a half inches. So I have the purple, the light pink, the dark pink, and the blue. So that's what's happening up here. And then for my clasp, what I've chosen is I've chosen to use the purple. Now you can choose whichever color you like, but I've chosen to use that dark purple as my strand. So I have two strands, 10 inches each. And then over here, I have one strand of the pink, and this is gonna be for that sliding knot clasp. In my example I did here I actually used the purple on the purple uh, but I think in order to be able to see it in my video here I'm going to use a contrasting color but again feel free to use whichever design style you like. All right so let's go ahead and start assembling. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to take all of these strands and lined excuse me line them up at one end and what I like to do is I kind of like to separate them a little bit. So I'll kind of add in a blue one. And this is why I separate them in the very beginning so that I can sort of make sure that I don't have all of my colors together all at once. So they can kind of go all the way around and feel like it's a little bit more of a mix, you know? All right, so I'm just picking up those strands that I said that were the five and a half. So I have three of each color here. And again, you can just see that I'm just kind of putting them all together in my hand here, making sure that I have all the right lengths. Now, as you're cutting, sometimes they can get a little wonky, so let's just make sure we got everything in the right spot. But don't worry, this is why I say to do uh, five and a half. Actually, I want to make sure I picked up the right pink strand because I have one that's just kind of hanging out there. Yeah, I accidentally picked up my six inch strand, so let's set that aside and let's set these two guys aside. All right, so now I have all of my strands together here and you can see that the wax really makes them quite stiff. And I, I love that, I think this is, this is really great. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move to one end and kind of just pinch it all together just to make sure that I can get those nice and tight and close as I can, just like so. All right, so now I'm gonna come in with one of my 10 inch strands. And what I'm gonna do is just fold that in half and I can loop it around and place it into the end of my little cords there. So you can see that it's right up close to the end. Now just take and we're just gonna make a quick little overhand knot, bringing that down, trying to keep it as central as possible and nice and tight. Now I'm just gonna kinda of scooch mine a little bit more towards the end there. Don't wanna to waste too much of this cord. There we go. Making sure everybody is nice and tight in there. Give it another little tug. Now I'm just gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other side and just tie another little overhand knot and bring it right down, right close there. There we go, give it a nice little tug. All right, so before I move on to the other side, here's where we're gonna come in and start using our lighter. Now, if you are um, underage, please use adult supervision for this. 
But what we're going to do is we're just going to come in with our lighter and you can see that I'm holding all the strands nice and far back. If you have a third hand tool, this is a great opportunity to utilize that. The more we can keep our fingers away from the flame, the better. So what I'm going to do, and I'm just explaining this before I do it because it happens very quickly. I'm going to light the tip of this. It's going to melt because we have wax on it. And then I'm going to use the butt end of my lighter to just sort of press it together to make sure that it kind of forms a little ball there because we want them all to sort of fuse together. All right, so let me bring it nice and up close here to the camera here. And here we go. So just melting, and then you can just use that to just kind of make sure that they come together. A little bit more. There we go. All right, beautiful. Now what I'm going to do is just kind of pull this up towards the end there. And this is an optional step. I find that it does help to seal it in. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to touch that lighter to that last little knot that I did right on the end there. So let me just kind of make sure. And again, this is where that third hand tool is really nice. So this is going to be a really fast one. So just melt it and we're good. That's it. We don't want to burn our thread off. All right, so that's one side. Now, I'm gonna take care of this side and finish off these two little strands here. So what we're gonna do, and this is something that you'll notice with the cord, is that it actually has a little twist going one direction. Now, I don't know if this is showing up on camera for you, but it is twisting this way. So what do I wanna do? I wanna continue to twist it that way so that it gets nice and tight. Twist, 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 twist. You can just see I'm just rolling it in my fingers. Twist, 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 twist. And you can start to see it bend a little bit there. So I'm just gonna hold that and I'm gonna come to this other strand and I'm gonna do the same thing. Twisting in the same direction. Twist, 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 twist. Keep going as much as you can. I know it's hard to do it with only two hands. And then I'm gonna bring these together and they're gonna, oops, no, oh, I dropped it. <laughs> All right, let's try that one more time. Let's twist. And I'm actually going to try to do this one with uh, the piece being down there. Because what we want to do, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get enough of a twist so that they're going to come together. So then I can twist this side. Twist, 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 twist. This will actually probably be easier to see this way anyway. So happy accident. So you can see that it kind of twists together. So it spirals together there. All right. And then you're going to come to one side and we're going to tie a little knot here at the end, pushing that through and as close to the end as I can. I'm going to come in with my scissors and trim off. Here we go. And just melt down those two little edges there. And again, come in with the butt end of the lighter so we don't have to touch it with our fingers. And one side is all done. So that's one side. So now I'm going to move to the other side. But before I do, one thing I like to do, and this is, this is you know, dealer's choice, is I kind of like to set up the curve of my bracelet. So what I'm going to do is just kind of set it up how I want it to curve around, make sure everybody's kind of together there. All right. So it's curving around my wrist just as I like it. All right, so now you'll notice when I come to this other side here, a lot of those ends are no longer even. Don't worry about that just yet. I'm just gonna kind of curve, 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 curve. There we go. Because that's how you wear it, you know, you want it to be how you wear it. So I'm gonna come in and again, just sort of fold this in half, make sure I'm finding my midpoint there. Slip it over. We're gonna do that same overhand knot technique. Bring it close to the edge and then flip it over and do that once more with our knot. Perfect. Okay, so now you'll notice, and the reason I did this curve to show you this is I do have some that have kind of jumped out there. So this is a great opportunity to come in with those scissors and just kind of trim that up. Now I don't like to waste as much as I, you know, can. So this is a good way to sort of size it, but then only waste a couple little itty bitty scraps. We'll just set those aside. All right, and then again, we're gonna come in with our lighter, melt that little end together, making sure it's getting everywhere we need it to. 
and come in with that butt of that lighter. There we go. All right, pull it to the end. And again, we're just gonna come in and seal up that last little knot that we did just with a little touch of that lighter. There we go. All right, perfect. All right, so now we have our curve ready and we're gonna do that same thing on this side where we, and I'll, I'll do it the correct way, I promise this time. There we go. Curve, 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 curl, curl. There we go. That's, oops, sorry, bumped my camera. Apologize, guys. All right, just had to lift it off the table to do that. I'm, I'm sorry, but it's the same as I did it before, so you get the gist. All right, let's go ahead and put that through the hole. Pull it through and tighten, and then we can come to the side, trim off our little tails there. There we go. Seal it up. All right, so that part is done. So we are almost done. So this is, it's gonna start to look like that. What do you think? Pretty, pretty cool. All right, so now go ahead and crisscross those two ends over. And what we're gonna do, again, this is great if you have that third hand tool. Uh, we sell it at Beataholic. So in case you're like, what is she talking about? We sell it at Beataholic. <laughs> All right, so my six inch strand here, and I'm just gonna find the center and come down through, catching both of those cords. I'm just gonna tie an overhand knot, bring that down, and don't worry too much where it's placed, it'll kind of slide around, that's its whole purpose. So you don't have to worry about adjusting too much right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some square knots, and I have another video showing you this if you've never done it before, but I'm gonna do it a little, little quicker in this video here. So this one goes over, this one goes over, and this one comes up through. And that's half a square knot. Go ahead and pull that tight. And then repeat, but going the other direction, over, over, and through. There we go. And we're gonna do one more set. So bring it across, bring it down, bring it through. Pull tight and you can see the contrasting color and why I wanted to do it this way. Lay it across, bring it over to the back, pull it through, make a little pretzel. All right. Now you can absolutely use a longer strand and do a larger knot if you want in the back, but you can just see that this will this will slide just fine on its own. So the last thing that we're going to do is we are going to come in and trim off those tails. And we can't leave them exposed. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, again, come in with that lighter, burn just that little tip there, and come to this side, do the same, seal it up, and we are good to go. So that is how to make a multi-strand bracelet using the Brazilian waxed cord. And this is really fun. Again, we have all kinds of different options. I'm just getting all my little scraps out of the way. All kinds of different options. You can make it as big or as small as you want. Now, if you are wanting to size it a little bit larger, this is your basic uh, size that you're gonna use. It's probably about that five and a half for that focal. But what I recommend is you can make these a little bit longer in the beginning and then trim them off as you go once you kind of decide how big you want that to be because as a sliding knot goes, you want it to be just big enough to slide over the wrist. So, and then you can tighten it up. So for this one, I probably could have made it a little bit smaller. Uh, so that's always an option for you in the back there as well. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can get all of these supplies and see even more tutorial videos by heading over to beataholic.com.